Illegal poaching and trade of endangered animals has been a major issue in Africa. Despite great efforts by African wildlife authorities and environmental groups, the killing continues to date. Illegal poaching is severely impacting not only the species targeted, but the environment they live in as well. Primarily targeted species include rhinos, lions, and elephants. Specifically, rhinos, which are critically endangered, are targeted for their horns. It is believed that they are capable of curing hangovers, fever, and cancer. Although it has not been scientifically proven, they sell for uh, $30,000 a pound, and methods of extraction include sedating and sawing off the horn while the rhino is still alive. When it wakes, it endures hours of pain before death. Lions are a species impacted by mass poaching. Their current status is vulnerable and they are poached for sport and pelts. Um, due to 85% of their habitat being lost due to human encroachment, it forces them to live in close proximity to humans. Thus, they are killed because they are viewed as pests and a danger. Elephants currently rank as vulnerable. They are hunted for their ivory, which on the black market can cost up to $1,000 a pound. Due to Africa's many other countries being impoverished and economically unstable, it has caused an unprecedented amount of poaching. Currently, the African Wildlife Foundation combats this issue by monitoring and protecting wildlife, conserving large areas of land, educating the public, and providing a livelihood to people. Through researching, we have found that similarly to humans, certain species exhibit similar emotional response to certain events. For example, when elephants experience death of another elephant, either naturally or by poaching, like humans, they tend to exhibit a period of mourning when they surround and touch the bones of the fallen elephant. This can lead to depression. Similar to humans experiencing this emotion, this can lead to them not wanting to eat, becoming lethargic and agitated. The extinction of the African elephant would pose a great threat to the ecosystem of the savanna. They are considered a keystone species for the following reasons. They eat and spread seeds through their feces as they travel the land, and this encourages biodiversity in local floral species. They also tear down trees, which helps maintain the savanna biome and provides homes for other creatures. Lastly, they dig for water in the dry season, providing water access to other species that inhibit this area, along with kickstarting microecosystems that develop in the hole dug. Therefore, they are extremely important to the overall health of the ecosystem. The loss of keystone species severely disrupts the flow of ecosystems. For example, by killing large amounts of lion populations allows for other herbivore populations to expand rapidly, thus wiping out local vegetation, which in turn infects the entire ecosystem. Poaching prime male lions impacts the genes of the species, weakening them. With the death of one male lion, it can lead to multiple deaths. For example, in the case of Cecile the lion, his death left his 12 cubs unprotected and thus vulnerable to other male lion attacks. Therefore, instead of one lion death, it can lead to multiple and this will have an impact on the overall population. Poaching is also having an impact on the rhino species because they are being poached faster than they can repopulate. With a gestation period of 16 months, they are having difficulty keeping their populations at a sustainable level. Current solutions and alternatives to poaching come in many different forms. One currently being assessed is relocating 80 rhinos to Australia as an alternative form of protection or testing the genes of fallen elephants to be able to locate poaching hotspots to be able to increase and better protect the elephants in these areas. Currently, drones are being used to save rhinos and combat poachers. Park rangers and conservationists upload data that consists of locations of poaching hotspots along with feeding and water hole locations. This helps the drone monitor these areas. Rangers can get a live video from the drones where the poachers are and are able to deploy rangers to intercept them. What is great about this method is it can also be applied to other species. Other simpler solutions include educating locals on the importance of specific species and providing livelihoods to deter the need to poach for survival. The last solution, if not drastic, is dyeing the horns of rhinos pink. By drilling the pink dye into the rhino's horn, it stains the horn, making it undesirable for poaching, and it is toxic to humans if ingested. It is a difficult task, but does not harm the rhino in any way. They have attempted this for elephants, but 
It is not as effective since it's dangerous to the health of the elephant and those attempting to put the dye onto the tusks. Also, ivory grows over a lifetime, so it would not be a one-time task as it is for the rhinos. To conclude, poaching has a negative impact on various species, but thanks to various world organizations and solutions, there is hope to save these species by changing the relationship between humans and species at risk.